Today, we'll take a look at our last type of genetic cross, a dihybrid cross. Think back to the video about Mandel and his four laws, or rewatch the video. One of the laws was the law of independent assortment, which stated genes found on different chromosomes separate independently during gamete formation. Dihybrid crosses look at the possible genotype and phenotype ratios of two different genes at the same time. So this rule will be important now. We'll, we'll cross two heterozygous tall yellow plants. Tall is dominant to short and yellow is dominant to blue. What are the possible genotypes and phenotypes of the offspring? So both parents are heterozygous for both genes, capital T, lowercase t, capital Y, lowercase y. Remember from our law, those two genes will separate independent of each other. An egg could have the dominant height allele, but the recessive color allele. So instead of two possible gametes for each parent, there are four, capital T, capital Y, capital T, lowercase y, lowercase t, capital Y, or lowercase both t and y. Our Punnett square is going to be a lot bigger to account for all these possible gametes. Even with a bigger Punnett square, you still match them up the same way. Once we do, once we do this, our possible genotype ratios are 1, homozygous dominant for both t and y, 2, homozygous dominant T, heterozygous Y, 1, homozygous dominant T, homozygous recessive Y, 2, heterozygous T, homozygous dominant Y, 4, heterozygous T, heterozygous Y, 2, heterozygous T, homozygous recessive Y, 1, homozygous recessive T, homozygous dominant Y, 2, homozygous recessive T, heterozygous Y, and one homozygous recessive for both T and Y. The phenotype ratios are nine tall yellow, three tall blue, three short yellow, and one short blue. When doing these questions, if you want to check you didn't miss one, your ratios will add up to 16. Let's try another question. In guinea pigs, rough hair and black are dominant traits. A rough coated black guinea pig whose mother was smooth and white is mated with a smooth white animal. What kinds of offspring should they produce and in what relative number? We know our first guinea pig has at least one dominant allele of both the rough and black genes. Since its mother only had recessive alleles to give, it must be heterozygous for both genes. Its mate shows recessive traits, so it has to be homozygous recessive for both genes. First, we'll determine our possible gametes for each guinea pig. Capital R, capital B, capital R, lowercase b, lowercase r, capital B, and lowercase r, lowercase b. And our other guinea pig is lowercase r, lowercase b, lowercase r, lowercase b, lowercase r, lowercase b, and lowercase r, lowercase b. Now that's a bit repetitive. Since all possible gametes would have the same alleles, we can just use one if you are comfortable with dihybrid crosses. So let's plug them in to our Punnett square and we get one heterozygous R and B, one heterozygous R homozygous recessive B, one homozygous recessive R heterozygous B, and one homozygous recessive for both R and B. The phenotypes then are one rough black, one rough white, one smooth black, and one smooth white. If you did all four gametes of the mate instead of just one, you would have gotten a ratio of four to four to four to four of each of these. 
and that ratio simplifies to the same as what we got before. Let's do one that's a bit trickier now, but incorporates both test cross and dihybrid cross type questions. Right-handedness is dominant to left, and brown eyes are dominant to blue. A right-handed, blue-eyed man marries a right-handed, brown-eyed woman. They have two children, one left-handed and brown-eyed, and the other right-handed and blue-eyed. By a later marriage with another woman, who is also right-handed and brown-eyed, this man has nine children, all of whom are right-handed and brown-eyed. What are the genotypes of this man and his two wives? I like to start writing the genotypes with what we know. The man must have at least one right-hand allele, and as he has the phenotype of blue eyes, he is homozygous recessive for that gene. His first wife must have at least one of both dominant alleles. Now let's take a look at their kids. Their first child is left-handed. Therefore, he is homozygous recessive for that trait. For him to get two little r's, both of his parents must be heterozygous. This child has brown eyes, which he would have gotten this allele from his mom. And even though it doesn't ask for the kids' genotypes, this one must be heterozygous as their dad only had recessive alleles to give. Their other child is right-handed, so has a dominant allele, and we cannot determine if their other allele is dominant or recessive from the information given. This is why the question does not ask for the kids' genotypes. This child has blue eyes, though, which is homozygous recessive. This helps us to know the first wife is heterozygous for eye color. The second wife starts out the same as the first. Dominant alleles for both handedness and eye color. The children with her are all right-handed and with brown eyes. Now, nine isn't a huge number, but it is large for humans. And as no left-handed or blue-eyed children have been born, we can assume the second wife is homozygous dominant for both traits.